Why doesn't the government want him to turn himself in? Because then they can't ask for detention. So they go and they arrest him. They arrest a guy who came to New York to turn himself in. Rumors are that Diddy was running some kind of Epstein type deal where he was filming everybody, right? That's the rumors, yeah. I don't know that there's any proof of anything other than that. Picture this, Jennifer Lopez, one of the most iconic figures in pop culture, isn't just a triple threat performer. Behind the glamorous red carpets and dazzling stage performances, she might be harboring one of the biggest secrets in Hollywood. Right now, she's allegedly working with the FBI. Yes, you heard that right. Rumors are swirling that J-Lo has been cooperating with federal investigators, but she's kept it all under wraps, possibly to protect her pristine reputation and what she's reportedly revealing. So it's not even about her infamous ex, Sean Diddy Combs, but about two of the biggest names in the industry, Jay-Z and Beyonce. Buckle up because things are about to get messy. Celebrity couple, we, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. That's beautiful. Like, like real people. Yeah. So how did we get here? Let's rewind a bit. Everyone remembers the late 90s when Jennifer Lopez and Diddy were one of the most talked about power couples in Hollywood. Their relationship was a whirlwind of tabloid fodder, but it took a sharp nosedive after the infamous 1999 nightclub incident in New York City. So Lopez found herself arrested alongside Diddy after a shooting broke out at Club New York. According to reports from the time, the two fled the scene in a vehicle with a gun inside and Lopez spent 14 hours in police custody before the charges against her were dropped. Diddy, however, faced much more serious charges, although he was eventually acquitted. And Stacey, you say today's indictment reads like a mob indictment. What was most shocking to you of all these allegations? Yeah, the fact Jay This scandal was just one part of a tumultuous relationship that Lopez later described as toxic. In interviews over the years, she's hinted at how Diddy's behavior pushed her to her breaking point. In a 2003 interview with Vibe magazine, she dropped some major bombshells, revealing that her relationship with him sent her life into a tailspin. She spoke about crying uncontrollably and feeling like she was losing her mind due to his infidelity and control over her. While Lopez eventually moved on and built a successful career, the scars from that period of her life clearly ran deep. Controlled every aspect of her life. He is accused of frequently beating her and would hide her in hotel rooms for days until the bruising and signs of abuse were gone. Fast forward to today, and it seems like Lopez is determined to protect herself from getting dragged into Diddy's mounting legal troubles. His notorious freak-off parties, which are the stuff of urban legend, have now become the subject of serious federal investigation. And guess who's caught in the crosshairs? Jay-Z and Beyonce? According to whispers in certain circles, Lopez been quietly cooperating with authorities, sharing shocking details about what really went on at these exclusive invite-only gatherings. That uh, this is the end of the, of the Diddy story as we know it. But here's the kicker Lopez isn't focusing on Diddy's behavior. Instead, her reported revelations went the finger at Jay-Z and Beyonce, two figures who, up until now, have largely managed to avoid the controversy surrounding Diddy. Would a power couple, known for their clean-cut image and monumental influence in the entertainment industry, might be a lot more involved in these secretive events than anyone could have imagined. That clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. Now, if you're thinking, wait, how could two of the most famous and powerful people in the world be tied up in this? You're not alone. Jay-Z and Beyonce have built an empire on their seemingly untouchable image, their music royalty. But according to Lopez's supposed testimony, their roles behind the scenes of Diddy's infamous parties were anything but glamorous. The rumors suggest that Jay-Z and Beyonce weren't just occasional guests at these events. They were, in fact, active participants allegedly even helping Diddy organize these lavish gatherings. The events, which were said to involve a select list of high-profile attendees, reportedly turned into chaotic, out-of-control situations where boundaries were crossed, and the rich and famous did whatever they wanted with little fear of repercussions. But after that major documentary comes out on Diddy, then you're going to start to hear more and more about Jay-Z and his nefarious past. Sources have hinted that Jay-Z and Beyonce were even involved in luring people to these parties. Allegedly, their star power made them the perfect pair to invite unwitting guests who had no idea what they were getting into. So these parties, according to insiders, were far from the glamorous soirees the public might expect. Instead, they were described as dark and sinister with a clear power dynamic that allowed the attendees to take advantage of the situation, and Jay-Z and Beyonce were allegedly right at the center of it all. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. Let's not forget, Jay-Z has had his share of controversies in the past. Back in the late 90s, he was famously charged with assault for stabbing record executive Lance on Rivera. Though he avoided jail time by pleading guilty to a lesser charge, the incident painted a picture of a man willing to resort to violence when necessary. 
Combine that with his rags to riches story of growing up in Brooklyn, dealing in the streets, and working his way up the ladder of the music industry, and you have someone who's certainly no stranger to bending the rules. But what about Beyonce? Her image has always been pristine, carefully crafted to present her as a symbol of female empowerment and class. So, how does she fit into this narrative? That's how hateful you guys are. How you step on anybody to stay on the top. According to some insiders, Beyonce's involvement was a lot more behind the scenes than her husband's. While Jay-Z was allegedly on the front lines getting his hands dirty, Beyonce is said to have played a more calculated role. It's claimed that she helped manage the optics of these events, making sure that nothing damaging leaked out and that those in attendance stayed silent. Some say she was even responsible for controlling how compromising footage recorded at these parties was distributed. If true, this would suggest a level of manipulation and control that goes far beyond anything we've seen from her public persona. Do you believe Diddy is a dangerous person? Yes. One source even suggested that Beyonce's involvement in these events wasn't just about protecting her husband, it was about solidifying their place at the top of the entertainment industry. Allegedly, the couple used these parties as a way to gather dirt on their peers filming compromising situations and using those recordings as leverage whenever necessary. This would explain how Jay-Z and Beyonce have managed to stay on top for so long in an industry where many others have fallen. If you believe the rumors, they built an empire not just on talent but on secrets and manipulation. The evidence, alleged evidence, that's been gathered in this case was from those two raids that were conducted on his personal homes in Miami and Los Angeles. And the indictment names the, um, the, the things seized that, they, that he allegedly made videos of these performances as, mm -hmm. that have been named for- But why would Lopez come forward now? For years, she's remained largely silent about her time with Diddy, only offering vague hints about the emotional turmoil she went through. One theory is that Lopez, ever the savvy businesswoman, sees the writing on the wall. With Diddy facing serious legal consequences, she may want to get ahead of any potential fallout by cooperating with authorities before they come knocking on her door. After all, she was there at those parties she knows what went down. Complete with very, very serious and salacious allegations, uh, including allegations that uh, Combs had cameras throughout his home. So moreover, as someone who's been on the receiving end of Diddy's manipulative behavior, Lopez might see this as a chance to finally take control of the narrative. So by exposing the truth about these gatherings and implicating Jay-Z and Bayence, she could be positioning herself as a whistleblower, someone who's willing to speak up against the powerful figures who've used their influence to get away with terrible things for far too long. Listen, y'all, I, I, I understand that these girls are of age, but this is just disgusting to me. It, it feels very predatory to me. It and let's be real, Lopez, no reason to protect Diddy, Jay-Z, Isaiah Bayance. She's got her own life, her own career, and after years of ups and downs in her personal relationships, she's finally in a place where she can call the shots. Whether she's doing this out of self-preservation or a genuine desire for justice, one thing is clear. Jennifer Lopez knows more than she's letting on and she's ready to spill. I saw it posted yesterday all over our social media pages. Cassie filed a lawsuit in New York City against Diddy. Yikes. She's claiming she was stuck in a decade-long cycle of abuse. So what happens next? While the FBI investigation is ongoing, it's only a matter of time before more details come to light. And with Lopez reportedly providing information, there's no telling how deep this rabbit hole goes. Will Jay-Z and Beyonce face consequences for their alleged involvement? Or will their power and influence be enough to shield them from the fallout? One thing's for sure this is far from over and the entertainment industry might never be the same again. As the investigation continues, one can't help but wonder if more celebrities will be dragged into the spotlight. Diddy's parties were infamous for attracting illusters from across the globe, and if what Lopez is saying is true, Jay-Z and Beyonce were just the tip of the iceberg. We could be on, on, the verge of one of the biggest scandals in Hollywood history. One that exposes the dark side of fame and power in ways we've never seen before. The issue, the issue is it seems as though he wants to kind of like exert power and dominance over people who don't really want it. And speaking of the dark side, the allegations against Jay-Z and Beyonce paint a picture of two people who were willing to do whatever it took to maintain their position at the top. From allegedly using their influence to lure people into dangerous situations to reportedly gathering dirt on their peers for future blackmail, their involvement in Diddy's parties could turn out to be even worse than what we've heard so far about the events themselves. I had clients describe NBC as hell as the worst conditions they've been in. What's fascinating is how meticulously Jay-Z and Beyonce have built their public image. They've sold us a narrative of hard work, talent, and perseverance, rising to the pinnacle of success through sheer determination. So, but behind closed doors, it seems like there may have been a lot more going on than anyone ever imagined. So if these rumors are true, then the cracks in their carefully constructed image are starting to show. The freak-off parties, now under investigation by the FBI, 
have been revealed to be far more than just celebrity blowouts they were allegedly breeding grounds for some of the most troubling behavior the entertainment world has ever seen. Now with each passing day, more shocking accounts emerge from people who say they were victimized or coerced into situations that defy belief. There are some problems that are the defense has brought up originally, but it seems like, just from reading this 14-page indictment, that there is enough physical evidence to perhaps get a conviction in this case. We will shall see. One of the most public voices to come forward is Diddy's former girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. Cassie's story has already rocked the headlines, but her claims continue to shed light on the unsettling reality behind Diddy's lavish lifestyle. In her explosive lawsuit filed in late 23, Cassie recounted harrowing details of how she was manipulated and controlled throughout their relationship. It wasn't just emotional she alleged that Diddy orchestrated scenarios where she was forced into compromising positions at these infamous gatherings. Cassie's lawsuit, settled just one day after it was filed, described a relationship built on intimidation, control, and power. She claimed that Diddy used his influence to isolate her from friends and family, making her feel trapped. So at these parties, she alleged that Diddy would encourage behaviors that crossed all lines of decent, be pushing her and other guests into situations that they could not escape. Uh, the fact that the, the lawsuit was settled so quickly has only fueled rumors about what truly went on, with some insiders suggesting that the settlement was Diddy's way of making sure the full extent of the allegations never saw the light of day. Uh, the government is going to mandate that they are responsible for your well-being. They have to ensure the safety of your well-being. But Cassie isn't the only one who has come forward. Another lawsuit filed by a man named Rodney Lil Rod Jones in early 2024 has added more fuel to the fire. Jones, a producer and videographer who worked with Diddy, claimed that he witnessed some of the most shocking and depraved behavior imaginable during his time with the mogul. His lawsuit described in detail how Diddy allegedly groomed him for over a year, pressuring him to participate in the darker side of these gatherings. Jones also claimed that Diddy required him to document everything, ensuring there was always visual evidence of what took place at these parties. And I remember, like, I don't know if you know his, his what his voice sounds like, but like, I felt like I was in the presence of his monster inside. Jones further alleged that the gatherings often turned into dangerous situations, with guests being plied with substances and manipulated into doing things they normally wouldn't. The atmosphere was one of fear and control, where attendees knew that stepping out of line or refusing to comply could have serious consequences. Jones's testimony is chilling, especially when you consider how many years he worked for Diddy and how close he was to the inner workings of these events. This is what I look for. When I see a success, I'm looking for anything to say that they didn't do detain it on their own. It. Yeah, detain it. Not to say That's not a In his lawsuit, Jones even went as far as to say that Diddy bragged about his ability to manipulate the legal system, boasting that he had bribed jurors and witnesses in the past to avoid conviction. According to Jones, Diddy was untouchable. He believed his wealth and influence could keep him out of jail and protect him from any fallout. If what Jones claims is true, this speaks to a level of corruption and power that is hard to fathom. And then there's Natania Rubin, who has also made her voice heard in recent months. Rubin was one of the victims of the 1999 Club New York shooting, an incident that left her permanently injured. She's been very vocal about what she believes happened that night, even though Diddy was ultimately acquitted of all charges. Rubin insists that she saw Diddy with the weapon that was used in the shooting, claiming that she watched him pull the trigger. Despite the settlement she reached with Diddy years later, Rubin has said that the memories of that night still haunt her, and she has vowed to continue speaking out. Special housing unit is a 24-hour lockdown unit which means that any movement within that unit is controlled and coordinated and no inmate moves outside of his cell without being in full restraints to include uh, leg irons, handcuffs, a belly chain, and at least two, if not three, staff members escorting them. Rubin's testimony aligns with the larger pattern one where Diddy's parties and events often descended into chaos and violence. The Club New York shooting may have been one of the first public instances where Diddy's behavior came under scrutiny, but according to multiple sources, it wasn't an isolated event. These parties, as described by insiders, had an unpredictable and dangerous energy where things could go from celebratory to terrifying in an instant. As more victims come forward, it's becoming clear that Diddy's freak off parties were environments where anything could happen, and often did. The fact that law enforcement is now involved suggests that these stories have moved beyond mere rumors. They're part of an active investigation that could lead to real consequences for everyone involved. Now you got the Diddy situation where he jumps on a private jet, they say yesterday. Um, and is on his way to the Cape Verde Islands. Speaking of law enforcement, let's talk about the FBI raids that took place earlier in 2024. When federal agents stormed Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami, 
they weren't just there to make headlines they were gathering evidence as part of a much larger case. Sources say that they found more than just incriminating materials, they reportedly discovered items that confirmed the worst suspicions about what took place at these gatherings. The details of what was seized are still trickling out, but the sheer scale of what has been reported is staggering. So agents are said to have uncovered a treasure trove of materials that paint a clear picture of the excess and troll that define these parties. One of the most bizarre details to emerge is the claim that over a thousand bottles of oil were found at Diddy's properties, further fueling speculation about the activities that took place at these multi-day events. Everybody's writing about you. There's always rumors about you, too. How, how do you deal with it? What do you have got something you want to tell us in the press? We don't care. <laughs> Victims like Cassie and Jones aren't alone in their claims. A growing number of people have come forward anonymously fearing retaliation, but eager to see justice serve. Some of these accounts describe parties where the lines of consent were the blurred, and attendees were coerced into situations they couldn't escape from. Others have described the intense pressure to participate in activities that they would never normally agree to. So it's clear that these events weren't just wild parties they were calculated, controlled, and far more sinister than anyone outside those circles could have imagined. What makes all of this even more disturbing is the level of organization behind these events. It wasn't just about having a good time. Every detail was reportedly planned, from the layout of the venues to the selection of attendees, and even the security measures in place to ensure no leak. This wasn't just a celebrity party, it was an operation, run with military-like precision. The staff knew their roles, the guests knew the rules, and everyone was expected to play their part. Stepping out of line was simply not an option. I have to still say allegedly, has done things and allegedly participated in a lot of things that the public would not be happy to know. While some of these victims are only just now finding the courage to speak out, others have been trying to expose the truth for years, but have been silent. The settlements, the hush money, the threats at all points to a pattern of covering up the truth to protect the powerful. But now with federal investigators involved, it seems like the walls are finally closing in on Diddy in a circle. Jay-Z new video with Nas and DJ Khaled is a scene with his checkerboards. This is, these are all a cult Satanist symbolic symbols. For years, Diddy managed to stay one step ahead, avoiding consequences and keeping his reputation intact. But with these new allegations, it's hard to imagine how much longer he can keep the truth from coming out. The FBI's investigation is ongoing, and there's no telling how deep this rabbit hole goes or how many more people will be implicated before it's all over. By the way, if you gotta run to a private island because your evil doings are doing so much and they storm in your house, it's one of these. The biggest question now is, who else is going to come forward? If the stories from Cassie Jones and Ruben are just the beginning, then there are likely many more victims out there, each with their own tale to tell. Some have speculated that this investigation could end up exposing an entire network of celebrities, executives, and influencers who have long operated in the shadows, using their power and influence to avoid accountability. You know, I think in federal court and for these charges, they would say it's routine, but in the public realm, this is very significant, just from who we associate Diddy being and everything we've seen him do over the decades. Like you said, this is quite the downfall to go from, I mean, we saw the mansions back, back in March that were raided by the feds. So to go from living in those mansions to being in the jail. With every new piece of information that surfaces, it becomes harder to deny that there's something much bigger at play here. Diddy's parties, once thought of as glamorous events for the rich and famous, are now being revealed for what they truly were, dangerous and destructive environments where the powerful took advantage of their status to manipulate and control those around them. As the investigation continues, it's clear that this story is far from over. More names will likely come up, and more details will surely emerge about what happened behind those closed doors. But one thing is certain, Diddy's empire, once seemingly untouchable, is crumbling and the truth is finally coming to light. The only question now is, who will be the next to fall? As the FBI delves deeper into the allegations, it's likely that we'll see more lawsuits, more testimonies, and more shocking revelations about the true nature of these gatherings. And while Diddy has managed to dodge serious consequences in the past, this time it feels different. So this time, the world is watching closely, and justice may finally be catching up to one of Hollywood's most powerful figures. Notes. Not only should he have apologized to Cassie in that video, he should have apologized to all of the general public that he lied to. Yeah. You and as we dig deeper into these shocking revelations, it's clear there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than we ever imagined. But what do you think? Could this be the start of Hollywood's biggest scandal, or is it all just smoke and mirrors? So, and do you believe that even illisters like Jay-Z and Beyonce could really be involved? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned for the latest updates.